Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is going to be a quick video where I'm going to show you how you can create a text to speech a telegram bot. And this is the architecture which is going to look like. So user will be able to send any text to telegram bot and then telegram bot is going to send that text to AWS Lambda. Now we are using AWS Lambda because it is serverless. Okay, so we don't really need to set up any server. We can just uh, straight away start writing our Python code. And the cost of this is almost free, like uh, at least for first 1 million request, you don't need to pay anything for uh, a month. And after that, let's say even if you increase it to like uh, 2 million requests or 3 million uh, requests per month, the cost is going to be quite small, like uh, it's hardly going to be around 1 to 2 dollar. So that's the reason of uh, using AWS Lambda. So now what AWS Lambda is going to do is it is going to execute uh, the Python program which we have in this Lambda function. Now I'm also using a database. So in the database we are going to track the usage. For example, let's say we don't really want to give uh, anyone unlimited access of doing text to speech because even though we are going to pay less cost, but still there is a cost involved. So we may want to like uh, probably going to restrict it. Okay, so we are going to store information related to usage uh, for all the user in DynamoDB database. Now DynamoDB database is also serverless, so you don't need to set up any server in order to install or run DynamoDB. And the cost of this is also quite insignificant, so it's very less. So if let's say you are running this and there are maybe only 10,000 or 20,000 users uh, who are going to use it, then the cost is going to be probably either zero or probably going to be only one to two dollars per month. Uh, there is one thing which we are using here which is called AWS Poly. AWS Poly is used to translate, uh, sorry, synthesize text to speech. Okay, so that is the working of AWS Poly. So there are three AWS services we are using, AWS Lambda, DynamoDB and AWS Poly. So let me just show you how it is going to work. So we are uh, yeah. Actually, I already have a bot, and by the way, this is called TG Tab Swap Bot. I uh, in the previous uh, in the previous lesson, I showed you how we can create any Telegram mini app or Telegram uh, Telegram gaming app, okay, which is similar to Tab Swap or Hamster Combat. So I'm using the same bot. I just uh, changed the functionality of this two point to this uh, AWS Lambda function. I'm going to show you. I'm going to set up everything again, but just I want to show you how it is going to look like. So let's probably. Uh, I'm going to write about a cricketer so we get some paragraph uh, so let's search for Sachin Tendulkar and I'm just going to uh, probably I'm just going to copy this text and I'm going to paste it here okay so once we paste the text it is then going to give us options for example here we can choose whether we want uh, this to be uh, whether we want to be using female voices or male voices so I'm going to let's say I'm going to select male voices then it is going to give me options so each of these uh, users like Matthew, Justin, Joey they have different kind of voices so we can make a selection which one we want to use for example I'm going to use Kevin and now this is going to be synthesized uh, to audio and audio is going to be sent here so uh, it depends on how long the text is uh, typically it's going to take like few seconds before this is going to be converted to text. Now in this case I think this may fail. Uh, I have a doubt this may fail because of the characters which is being used here. I have not really handled encoding and all. So let's go ahead and uh, use something simple. For example I'm going to write hey this is a YouTube demo video and I'm going to choose female voices for this one uh, let's go with Joanna and here you can see this one uh, has been synthesized to audio okay you may not be able to hear the audio right now because I'm using headphone and I'm not recording this voice but it has been converted and the reason for this one not got converted I'm sure is because of these characters okay this uh, doesn't look like a unicode character so you should handle this in the program and then uh, this is going to work as well so you can make the improvement okay now let me show you how all of this is going to work so first of all we are going to go to aws and then uh, once we have aws signed up 
now if you are a student or anyone you can just go to you can just google aws and then sign up for aws okay now we are going to search for lambda so here you can see a service box where you can search for all the services and then here you can see aws lambda the other thing you can do is you can also see list of all the services here okay then you can go to compute and we should see lambda here okay so you can select lambda from here as well and now here we have an option of creating functions so you can see on the top right hand uh, on the top right hand side we have create function now let me open this tts function which i have already created so we can just take a quick reference and copy the code now i'm going to go ahead click on create function here and now uh, let's go ahead give any name to this function so i'm just going to call it uh, let's say uh, call it tts code or tts demo and then in the runtime i'm going to go ahead and select python uh, for architecture everything is okay in the change default execution role you can select create a new role with basic lambda permissions and in the additional configuration we can enable function url we can select none for the auth type you can just uh, you know ideally you should go with aws im but then this tutorial will become aws tutorial so i don't want to go ahead into the detail of those now uh, that's all we can just go ahead click on create function so uh, if we go to the architecture again okay where this function is being created let's go to the architecture again so right now we have created this uh, lambda function okay now lambda is going to write to database and also going to make a request to aws poly so lambda should have access to these uh, services by default aws lambda gives the least privileges so uh, this lambda is not going to have access to uh, database or uh, poly okay so we are going to do so what we are going to do is we are going to go to uh, configuration we are going to go to permissions and here you can see a new role has been created which has been attached to this uh, lambda function so let's go ahead open it in a new tab and then we are going to uh, give it permissions for uh, AWS poly and also going to give it permission for DynamoDB okay so here in the roles we can go ahead click on add permission attach policies and here let's search for uh, DynamoDB and for now we can go ahead give it full access uh, if you are a DBA guy you know what uh, what is the kind of access we need so in this case we need actually read and write access but, but for now for the sake of simplicity let's go ahead give it full access and then we are going to go to add permission again click on attach policies again and then we are going to also give it uh, poly let's search for poly so let's go ahead give it amazon poly full access and other than this i'm also going to give it a uh, cloud watch full access so we should be able to monitor the logs and all which is going to be written to uh, cloud watch so let's go ahead click on attach policies and i'm going to search for cloud watch okay so here also in cloud watch i'm going to go ahead give it full access let's go ahead click on add permissions so now if you see uh, in this role which was created automatically we have these permissions attached so make sure you have these permissions attached if you are going to follow this tutorial okay so everything is okay here and now we can go to uh, this aws function now let's go ahead go to code by default you can see there is some default code which is available here so you can just start writing your own python code okay uh, for now i'm going to remove it because we don't need this code we all already have our code uh, which is available here uh, this is a demo environment which i already created and tested so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this code from here and we are going to paste this code here okay so you know i'm going to by the way going to give you access to this code i'm going to uh, put it there in the github now if you see we uh, are also using environment variables so we are using environment variables for uh, this one telegram bot token and free bird limit okay so let's go to uh, configuration and in the configuration we are going to go to environment variables and here we need to set up environment variables so let's go ahead click on add environment variable and we need to give name of the environment variable and the value here 
So name of the environment variable which we have used in our program is called telegram bot token. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here and the other environment variable is, ca is called free word limit. Okay, so this is the limit usage which I was talking about. So for example, I can say, okay, the limit for uh, each person is 50. Okay, so after 50 words, uh, the translation or synthesize is not going to work. They are going to get uh, they, they are going to get notified that their usage has exceeded. Now, if you want to, let's say, create a paid bot, maybe after uh, showing the usage me error message to the user, you can also give them option to subscribe, or you can also link it to the payment options. So once they pay, maybe you give them thousand more or two thousand more uh, word access. Okay. Uh, for Telegram bot token, we need to again go to. A bot father. Uh, this is a step which we do almost in all the telegram related videos. So we go to bot father and here we need to do a new bot. Okay, you can see there is a slash new bot command which we can run. Then bot father is going to ask us what is the name of the bot which we want to give us. I'm going to call it TTS demo bot and hopefully no one has taken this name. Okay. So yeah, no one has taken this name. So we are able to take this name. Let's go ahead and give the username now. So once we give the username, uh, which I kept exactly the same, but you can keep different username as well. So here it has given us the token. Now I'm going to copy this token and let's go ahead and paste this token here. Now let's click on save. Okay, so we are almost ready. The only thing now which we need to do is uh, right now this bot Okay, so if we interact with this bot, for example, uh, I'm just going to, where is the bot? Okay, this is the bot. So I'm going to go to TTS uh, demo bot and let's click on start. So right now, if I write anything, for example, hi or hello, okay, uh, this is not going to get translated because Telegram doesn't know what to do with these messages. So what we need to do is we need to link uh, this bot with this function URL. Okay, so here you can see this function URL for this AWS Lambda function. So I'm going to copy this function URL. Okay, and going to uh, set a webhook for Telegram. So if I go to the architecture again, so here you can see Telegram bot webhook on AWS Lambda. So this is the step which we are talking about. So let's go to uh, Telegram and there is a bot called Webhook Manager. Okay, you can just search for Webhook Manager. You are going to see this bot, Webhook Manager. Uh, actually, you could do it without this Webhook Manager, but using Webhook Manager is going to just make it a little easier. And then we are going to write, for example, here you can see uh, there are few options. So we are going to select Set Webhook. Then it is going to ask, okay, for which bot we want to perform this operation. So we have to provide, uh, we have to provide token of the bot for which we want to perform the operation. So I'm going to copy this from bot father and going to paste it here. Okay, now it is going to ask us, okay, give us the, give us the webhook URL which we want to set uh, for this bot. So I'm now going to go to AWS Lambda, going to copy this function URL and going to go to telegram and paste here now it is saying webhook is set successfully so now if we go to our bot which was uh, what was the bot uh, this one or oh, not this one uh, let me go to bot father and yeah it is uh, this bot so now if i write uh, let's say whatever hi from uh, tts demo video now this is going to be sent to AWS Lambda. Okay, so nothing happened. It means we need to go to our uh, TTS demo bot and here we need to see the logs. So for checking the logs, we can go to monitor. And then uh, if you scroll down, there's going to be uh, this option of viewing CloudWatch logs. So let's go ahead and click on this. Okay, it looks like we have not really got the message here uh, in this AWS Lambda. So I'm just going to perform some cross check. Uh, this is a function URL. Let's go here and we can actually go to that webhook manager which we set up and here we can go and check the status. So let me go ahead and see. Let's do get full bot info of the last API token which we used. It is saying bot token, uh, bot 
it is saying webhook is set up on this one uh, looks okay has custom certificate everything looks okay so i think i'm just going to do one more thing i'm just going to go to set privacy and going to disable the privacy for uh, our bot which we have created which is called tts demo bot let's go ahead and uh, disable it and now let's go to this bot again i'm just going to send any message here there. okay you have reached your free quota of 50 words okay the reason for you know why i'm getting this um, message is because you know it's the same user uh, which i have used to create uh, to send the message on this bot as well so i'm going to go to tts demo bot going to go to configuration going to increase the free word limit to i'm going to make it 5000 for now uh, click on save and then i'm just going to write same thing again hey there how are you and this time now you can see we are getting the options so i'm going to use joanna and this has been synthesized uh, to audio okay so uh, i guess the mistake you know or the step which we skipped was this one so we had to also enable uh, we had to actually disable privacy for uh, this bot which we have created yeah. so that's all in this lesson i'm going to see you again in the next lesson by the way, if you have any question, feel free to let me know in the comment box. I'll be more than happy to answer.